Hey everyone, Matt here from Proof Fly Fishing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a fighting butt, and we're going to do it a couple different ways. Um, in another video, I'm going to introduce a new product, which is a removable fighting butt um, set of hardware. So, but we're going to start with a basic fighting butt. It's fixed, it's permanent, um, and I'm going to show you two ways how to do it. So, the first way and the most straightforward way is to leave. Um, a section of blank extending past the back of the reel seat. And to determine the length, it's going to depend on your uh, your fighting butt. So on this one, uh, I'm going to need about three quarters of an inch. The fighting butt's roughly an inch. And I want it to go all the way as far back as I can get it without compromising uh, the materials in the fighting butt. So once we have that in place and everything's glued up, at this point the reel seat's going to be glued up. Um, I'd put some epoxy right in the back here just to tighten that up a little bit. We'd install our trim band, um, epoxy that in place or super glue it in place, just like that if you want one. And then the fighting butt just slips right on, like so, and you epoxy everything in place and you're all set. Now, a couple things that can go uh, not wrong, but things you have to consider. One is if the fighting butt you're using is a bore that is smaller than the diameter of your blank. Diameter of your blank. So in this case, it's too small, and the best way to deal with that is going to be to drill it out. Now, any any drill bit will work. Um, I use a combination wood metal bit. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. I'd stay away from spade bits though. They just tend to get out of control and tear things up a little. So um, I always mark my drill bits. Um, this one is kind of geared to this this butt. So I extend it as far into the fighting butt as I can get without there being any chance of it kind of popping out the back. So once you have that tape in place as a guide, go ahead and chuck it up and drill out your in your uh, the bore on the back of that fighting butt and you should be all set to mount it straight away like that. Um, another way to do it is to use a stint and a stint is just a piece of in this case solid fiberglass rod that I have fit to the back of the blank. Um, this is great if you're kind of retrofitting a fighting butt onto the back and you don't want to move the grip or the reel seat um, one thing you want to consider here is cutting the back of the blank the length of your reel seat. So if my reel seat is one inch long and I want all my rod sections to be the same length, then I would start by cutting an inch off the back of, um, of my blank. And I'm just going to prep this to kind of get it ready for a stint. So once we're ready to install that stint, so the, the blank comes flush to the back or roughly flush to the back of that reel seat. And our stint is fit with just masking tape. Um, we want a nice snug fit inside the blank, just like so. And then once that's all fit, we're gonna epoxy it in place inside so this is um, fixed and it's not going anywhere. Once all the epoxies dry, then we can just fit our um, fighting butt on that stint and we're all set. And the nice thing about cutting the blank is then all the rod sections are the same. You don't have to do that, but then your the butt section of the blank is going to be um, longer by the length of the fighting butt that you're using. So those are two ways to do it. Um, it's fairly straightforward. It's pretty easy operation once you understand the different um, techniques for installing one. And uh, yeah, I hope you have fun doing it. Thanks, bye.